Hello, my name is Tina. I'm one of the laser techs here at Martin's Rejuvenation Center and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about laser hair removal. So this is the machine we have here. It's called the LightShare Diode and it's the Cadillac of laser hair removal lasers. It's, um, it's only meant for hair and nothing else. Um, a lot of other clinics have lasers that are used for multi uh, purposes such as uh, rosacea or acne or um, sun damage and hair removal all in the same machine but here we have a laser that's only meant for hair and, and nothing else. Uh, we have other machines that do um, all of those other things. So it's important to know that when having hair removal um, treatments done that um, the hair grows in cycles, which is antigen, catagen, and telogen. So there's three phases of growth uh, for a hair. And it's important that we get the hair in the antigen phase of growth. So that's when a hair contains the most melanin. Usually for body areas, we treat at six week intervals and for face every four weeks. Usually most people need nine to 12 treatments to get the best reduction of hair. Uh, but if it is a hormonal issue um, on the face or sometimes the areola or around the belly button, those areas uh, can require more treatments. When you come in for your treatments, it's important that you don't have a tan. You cannot have any color on your skin and that includes um, self-tanners. Uh, also includes any medications that may be light sensitive, any creams that you're using uh, such as steroid creams. Um, anything like that we would need to be aware of before treatment because uh, it could interfere with your treatment and um, it's just best not to use those things for, uh, for, for tanning. It's usually four to six weeks before um, having laser done and for medications it's usually every uh, for about two weeks after you stop your medication just so that you don't have any reactions with the machine. So what you will feel when having a treatment done is sort of like a rubber band uh, snapping at your skin and it's a very tolerable feeling. Everyone gets through it. It's, um, we don't uh, use numbing creams here at our clinic because of the uh, chilled hip has a... Um, for aftercare, um, my instructions would be to avoid any hot baths or um, saunas or any hot showers the day of because you don't want to put any more heat into your skin as you already have a lot of heat in there from the laser treatment. Um, you can use aloe vera or vitamin E gel if you wish to help soothe the area, but um, it is normal to have um, edema within the skin, so uh, it's usually uh, lasts about a few hours to a few days. Everybody's different. Um, the hairs that we've carbonized that are stuck in the skin, they will naturally slough out on their own. It takes about one to five weeks for that to happen. So if you do see little black specks in your skin, that is just carbonized hair and it will come out on its own. So try not to pick at it. Um, you, if you can use a loofah if you want to help it come out, but it would come out um, usually on its own. Hopefully uh, that gives you some information and any other questions you might have we could go over when you come in for your consultation.